Hello, Poppix. We're back at it again today with another recruiting graphic. And this one's based off of the movie Venom. I made it around when the movie was released, and I've been meaning to get to it for a while now, but I had so much other crap going on. Lots of end of season awards slash bowl games, championships, signing day, all that stuff. Might do some videos on that stuff as well. But without further ado, this is a layer by layer breakdown of the Venom recruiting graphic that I made. So here we go. So for this graphic, there are multiple parts that each took a little bit of time to create. One of them being Bring the smaller character, which is this picture. We'll disable that. Half of the football player, and then I added on pieces from different pictures and just kind of like faded them in. There's also filters and puppet warps on there. The puppet warp is what turned it up like that. And also a camera raw filter. This is another piece that all these were just found on Google. Added that on there. I think that was from like an action figure. Added the mouth under the mask. That's like what the whole head looks like. And then that is another, that's like the top of the face. I think it's, yeah, it's the same image, but this one has a layer style on it, lighter color. And oh, all of this, or especially that, is just like seeing what looks the best to me. I don't even know why I chose that. I think it's just kind of like a blend of the face mask and the teeth. I thought that was kind of cool looking. I think I did the same thing with this. Okay, I used Lighten for this one. That's that same head image. It's like basically the same size as the helmet. But yeah, I wanted like half of the helmet to be like Venom and kind of half the player to be Venom and the other half be the football player. And that's where I added the leg in and that is the full picture. Well, it's super distorted, but <laughs> that's the full picture. Um, so then I just use the leg for that. Luckily the poses were like pretty similar on the Venom character and the football pose. And so then I switched the number up top. I made the teeth and gums yellow. I don't know if that was the best option, but I wanted to make it as App State looking as possible. So I made that yellow. I gave the eyes some yellow glow, which, you know, doesn't even look gray, but it's just like, kind of makes it a little bit cooler. Um, and then I added a black and white filter over the Venom body to get rid of any like blues or stuff that was left in there. And then for the bigger guy, I used this picture, cut off half of the body, switch the number because it was for 23s. That's just a curves layer I put over it to match the jersey, a little bit of color to match the jersey color. And that was the other half of the body, which is the Venom. And so what I did there was cut it off to where like, you know, the halfway point looked normal and then I used Puppet Warp on it. I don't know what that did. Oh, I did a lot. Use Puppet Warp on it to make it match the pose. And so this stuff right here is like brushes where I went in on the layer mask and brushed. I bought like a lightning brush. And so I used the lightning brush to brush in or brush back in the Venom body in like these squiggly lines back over the football player uh, uniform. And then that's another, that might be the same head. No, it's a different picture of the head. So for this one, it was like straight on like the football poses. Deleted it except for under the mask. And then I added in the eye and part of the head over the left side. Did the same thing with the lightning brushes, I'm pretty sure. And for these, I have a inner shadow. One's light and one's dark. I think light is like on the top. See how like the lighting on the top kind of gives it like a 3D look. And then the shadow on the bottom makes it not so just like white looking. Um, so that kind of makes it, makes it, or it gives it like a 3D look. Obviously that's what it looks like normally. I erased that over the eye. And then I think that's just a lighting look. And the final piece of the puzzle is the complete graphic with the two characters in it. It's gonna go from the bottom up. That's just a black layer. This is a picture of a sky with lightning and clouds. I just thought it looked cool. And then I tilted it a certain way just to, you know, make it look the way I wanted it. And then I added the moon in. Uh, the lightning has a blur on it, so it looks like it's in the background. The moon also has a little bit of a blur, I believe, and a camera raw filter to give it more detail. It's kind of contradicting myself there. Then I gave it an inner shadow and an outer glow, which are both glows. One's just an inner glow, one's an outer glow. A hue saturation layer to change it from pink because I don't want that. A more like neutral white green looking 
color. Then we add in the stadium. And we blur the stadium. I don't know if I still need that. I don't think I kept that. So I blurred the stadium so that all that looks like it's in the background. Then I darkened the top of it right there because that's where the main guy's going to be looking over. Darkened the whole picture. Put some highlights over the lighting which looks terrible at the moment did some shooting in the front to kind of draw your eye to the middle and there's the big boy over the top that is a blur that i put on his body so it looks like his face and his hands are close to the camera and his body is like behind the building so like the building is out of focus or it's like you know blurred out so therefore his body should be kind of a gradual blur up to where the focus point hits like a normal camera would do i probably blurred a little bit out of his elbow elbows too i think and it's not perfect but it's a pretty good look and then there i just did an inner shadow which is actually an inner glow i just use inner shadow if you haven't heard me talk about this before i use inner shadow to give glows and shadows because it's easier to manipulate than the actual like inner glow effect to me anyway there's a little bit too much lighting on his hands that didn't make sense and so this is some shading for where his body would be kind of like a little bit darker because it's behind the building sort of and and then I lit up his face and his hands just to make those areas pop and draw attention. Put some glow over his eye. Just using a white color fill and then just colored it in. I think it's, yeah, it's on screen. Set to 75%. That is the lightning brush that I used. And I just have it going straight in the ground. Put an outer glow on it. This is just a screen layer. Oh man, oh, it's a normal layer. So like I said, I just used this for like a fog looking effect. Same thing here. Probably just a white brush. I'm not really sure what all I did with that. This is the shadows, I'm sure, for his feet. Or the smaller guy's feet. Or Actually, he's probably his whole body, sorta. Yeah. And then that's that's the other little dude that I just brought him in, lit up the right side because the lightning was behind him right there. It's just an exposure layer. Just painted in a little bit on his right side. And added some of the teeth over top of his mask just to make it look like you know the whole player and the uniform is like turning into venom and then i darkened up the front of him because he's being backlit so i think it's more realistic for like the front of his body to be a little bit darker and then i put a inner shadow again which is actually a glow around him to really give that backlighting effect and then this is a blur layer so i bl i did this blur layer and it's a motion blur to make it look like those like snake looking head things are actually moving it's not the greatest job that's another one and i just painted that on because those are two different directions i just painted those on like where i thought they looked right and so it kind of gives them that blur look like they're moving around like they're kind of like slithering around his body out of his shoulder that is just a little yellow glow layer over the eyes and the teeth of the heads and then some shading at the lower front of his body i, th I just think that looks more realistic because there's no light hitting the front of him and like towards the ground it's kind of just darker down there and it kind of just makes it look more realistic and then this is just a faded white layer that i laid over top kind of just makes the whole scene look foggy and scary and stuff i think that's my usual lighting layer or like you know group of layers that i use in a about every app state edit i do then i added these spikes in front i cut those out which took forever. It was super annoying. That's what it actually looked like. So I just cut those out to look like spikes. Kind of looks like the, you know, the venom, that venom look with like the little black wavy lines or whatever growing. And then did more of those up top. And, you know, I could have done without all of those probably, but I just thought it kind of made it look like a poster more so. And then on all of that, I have inner shadows and drop shadows. The inner shadows are lights hitting it from the top right. Or maybe just from the top. I'm not sure. And the drop shadows are to make it look like it's like sitting on top of the you know whole picture or like the poster so it kind of looks more like a movie poster with those on top and then that's just text that i placed in right there that happened to look pretty similar to the like spiky black pictures or whatever they are and so that is it with nothing on it i'll just take all this off so first i put a bevel that does a lot of good and i give it an inner shadow make it look even more 3d which is actually a glow again and then a drop shadow just like the spiky black texture on the outside just give it that 3d look added a lot i really liked how that one looked so i just went with it even though it's a little bit more like you know green and bluey than I would like but I, it just really made the yellows pop so I, I stuck with it and then I think I added this over top of that to cancel out some of that green and blue look but I added back later which is pointless and that is our color correction that I laid over top of the whole thing and that makes it look pretty like white and black which i'm happy with um so then i do or i created a flat layer out of all that using you know the control alt 
the thing that creates like a flat layer of everything that you have under it. And then I did the apply image thing with one of those layers. Go up here to image and do apply image and it darkens it. And then you change it to screen and blur it. And then you paint it in where you want kind of like a glowing effect. And so you can kind of see where all the glow is that I painted in over the eyes, over the lightning. And then I did another layer. I think I just did the whole screenshot type thing again, convert it to a smart object and then put a camera raw filter on it to see if I can make it look any better. And then I added a blur on the outer edges and some lighting on top because the ending of like his head up top was kind of abrupt to me. So I just kind of like faded it out a little bit. And then there's just the text, let there be with some drop shadow which is actually a glow and then that's where i put the player's name but there's my name and there's a bunch of effects on that as well inner shadow to make it look like it's dipping down another inner shadow on the bottom sort of left area but that is a glow make it look like the lights hitting it there gradient overlay just makes it look better to me kind of goes from like a burnt yellow to a lighter almost green yellow and then i did a white drop shadow and then a black drop shadow the white drop shadow is like a hard crisp edge up top and then the black drop shadow is pretty faded and it just kind of makes it stick out from the background a little bit and then i added whatever this is to kind of define the edges because it's supposed to look like it's under these spikes and that just made the edges look more defined right there. And then I added the bottom info. And then after all of that was done, I went back in and added the saliva just for that extra effect. So thank you for watching me. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this stuff. I'll be trying to do more, more breakdowns, more design breakdowns, and also just like tips and tricks of like being a designer, working in sports as a designer, like all that sort of stuff. And yeah, hopefully more new videos to come very soon. Thanks and have a good one.